we're back. Um, boss man let me out of work a couple hours early today because he's been feeling under the weather for the last few days and hasn't really had anything stage up ready to go and he was still kind of ant today so I went and worked on the skid steer for a few hours this morning because that's got some hydraulic issues throwing fits and I just tell you what I hate working on skid steers especially that track machine my god but anyway um so I got out of work at noon today came home ate some lunch it's about a little after one o'clock now I think so hopefully we'll ha hopefully I'll be able to get my uncle spread um I'm guessing it's probably gonna take me about an hour a turn so it'll be close um after that I got one more four acre piece actually I got technically two more fields I gotta finish my uncle's I got a four acre field that's further north and then I got the other field that I got wheat planted on and yesterday at breakfast I was doing some reading on spreading lime on standing wheat and I heard both ends of both ends of the spectrum there was guys that did it and there was guys that didn't do it and I'm more in I'm more inclined I, th I had honestly thought about going ahead and just spreading lime on it yet while I had the spreader but the more I thought about it the more it's like if we don't get enough snow or if for some reason there isn't enough water to push that lime into the ground you go to spread fertilizer on it in the spring and that, having that lime right up on top with the fertilizer is going to tie up a bunch of nutrients and screw everything up so the ph on that field isn't super duper terrible um so i'm just going to let the lime sit and we'll spread that next summer after i get the wheat cut um just to be safe so that's where that's at it's not like the spreaders hard to get a hold of but anyhow see if we can get through today without any incident that's been a rough one recently so I can use it after this load if I can find a spot to stick it it ought to ride there if not it's just a stick right
done. Hopefully this is enough. I got these short rows here, probably about four acres left. So it'll be close. got my uncle's place done so I only had to do the just the back half of that field needed lime so I got just enough daylight left to go pick up that four acre piece and get that done and then I thought that was a nail and then we will uh, be done spreading for this fall so get her loaded up and get on the road all right here we are at the bean field that I abandoned because the deer mutilated it. I didn't get the camera on in time, but there were probably half a dozen of them back there by that uh, cedar tree. So, but the neighbor dog getting pissed off that I'm sitting here, so let's have at it.
I got done with that field and had a, I don't know, about a ton, ton and a half left in the spreader. Maybe probably about one bucket full off the 1600 or a little more. So I went and spread that along the pasture at my uncle's because that that clay knob there just always seems kind of dead and i can imagine the ph is screwed up from the runoff from the cattle so it was a good spot to get rid of it but that worked out pretty good so at least the fall lime spreading is done like i say i still got that wheat field that's gonna need it come summer and to tell you the truth even if i thought i could as greasy as some of the spots were today that i was spreading and that wheat fields got some springs in it i'd probably tear it up trying to spread on top of it right now so it just not even worth trying um but with that being said everything uh that needed done got done today so tomorrow's supposed to still be fairly actually i think tomorrow's supposed to be damn near 50 i think it's 47 48 somewhere in there so that'll be decent weather to get the tea washed up, get that spreader washed up, get everything back where it belongs. Um, the guy I borrowed this from wasn't interested in taking money, so rather than trying to force him to take money that he may or may not actually take, the hydraulic hoses on this thing are kind of ratty, so I think before I take it back, I'm just going to go ahead and put new hoses on it for him as payment for services rendered because you can't take hydraulic hoses back so but makes me feel better having that done and with any luck at all wednesday if the weather holds and does what it's supposed to should be able to hopefully sneak in a little more chisel plowing if i could find some dry enough ground and then the weather's supposed to turn to shit thursday so just have to see how things play out, but that's it for this one. We'll catch you guys on the next one.